Bien sûr, mon cousin. Tu es né en 1079. Et monsieur est un écuyer de Jeanne d'Arc et moi, je suis la reine d'Angleterre, non Ok Ok Dis ta formule. Oh, pourquoi ça pue Et moi... Merde Welcome back to Film We Go. Today, we're traveling to 1993 France for a film called Le Visiteur. So, get your tickets ready as we're about to take off. Okay. What is this about? Le Visiteur, directed by Jean-Marie Poir, is about a French medieval knight played by Jean Reno and a servant played by Christian Clavier, who decides to travel back in time to prevent the accidental killing of his father-in-law. Vu une grosse bête. So he can marry the girl of his life and continue the family lineage. But plans go kaput like all time travel movie goes. And they end up teleporting to the 20th century. Before we begin, let me ask you a question. Do you like movies like Monty Python and the Holy Grail and dumb brainless comedies like Airplane or Dumb and Dumber? Because if you don't, this movie is definitely not for you. Cause that is what you're getting for the next hour and a half. Nuit. Jour. Nuit. Jour. Nuit. Comedy is hard and it's impossible to make a comedy that fits all audience as everyone has a different sense of humor. Or some might get easily offended or even not get the jokes. Everyone has their own triggers that make them laugh. Some like darker comedic tones and some like jokes about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. In the end, if you don't like stepstick comedy, this movie is not for you. But if you're willing to give this a try, you might just find a new favorite, as I hands down dare say this. This is one of the funniest foreign movies I've seen. So why do I find this movie hilarious? Slapstick movie alone may be fun to watch, but an hour and a half of it might get a little tiring. I know I would. So what elevated this comedic tone for me? The editing. The comedically timed and frame edit was what made this movie a joy to watch. Door slamming at perfect timing, edit that made no sense. Cutting to scene that became bonkers. All these tiny moments made this movie a joy to watch and made me laugh my guts out. I'd see what happened and then boom, it is over. And I'll be like, what? And then when you realize that it's supposed to be over and how ridiculous it is, you can't help but stop laughing. And of course, the fish out of water story. I love a fish out of water story as you follow a character through unknown territory or worlds trying to understand the rules. The first one that comes to my head is Beverly Hills, where we watch Eddie Murphy travel from Detroit to LA. That movie made me die laughing. But then came this movie and it took the dial, ah! turn it up by 11 and added drugs and kapoof. Ah! created this comedic masterpiece that had me screaming with laughter. I swear, this is the most I've screamed with laughter in a long time, to the point where my dog started looking at me like, I think our owner went crazy type of laughing. The movie worked so well because there was so much a contrast between the two time periods, and there were countless amount of jokes you can throw at the audience, leaving almost every scene where our main characters are trying to understand their surroundings. But of course, like I said, not all jokes will land of everyone, as we all have different boiling points for our laughter and some jokes were a little too ridiculous for me. But hey, it doesn't change the fact that for every one over the top ridiculous jokes, there are 10 that made me die from laughter. So in that case, I think it perfectly cancels it out. Although this movie had me dying laughing, I feel like the first 30 minutes did suffer a little bit with its pacing. Sometimes it was going at the speed of light, like one second they were at a place and the next they were somewhere else, making me go, hold up. Where are they now? Then sometimes it slows down a tad bit as if trying to balance the tone. This made the movie a little clunky. They should have mixed and combined both instead. But I ain't complaining cause when the two main characters arrive in the 20th century, I didn't get a chance to stop laughing. If you're willing to give this movie a try, you know what you're getting into. 
don't expect some intelligent line or anything realistic, because you're not getting any of those. If you decide to watch it and hate it, don't go around complaining at how bad this movie is, as you knew what you were getting into. But if you're down for an over-the-top film, this right here is the one. It made me laugh really hard, and it probably would for you too. <laughs> Have you seen La Visitor? Do you plan to see it? What is your favorite fish out of water story? Comment below and let me know. And as always, if you want to travel, subscribe for your next travel ticket. Ah, oh!